All right, I want to go much further. <laughs> Start pulling down. <laughs> Guys, I'm buried in here. <laughs> Jeff, um, you put the car top carrier on. We're getting ready to finally leave. But like, guys, like seriously, I, there's not even an inch of room in this car now. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are home and we got all these boxes down here. And then we also have some on the table here. And I have some back here behind me. We have them everywhere. Okay, so as we were going through these pallets, um, and putting them in the car, we were starting to get a little nervous. We had to leave one item behind, and it was a globe, like an actual globe that you would see in like a school, and it had a big dent in the side of it. And I know someone probably could have, you know, salvaged it, but we're gonna just pass on that one. <laughs> so it didn't fit in the car. I had boxes, and I had bags, I had everything all over the top of me, and I was in the passenger seat, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open these up and show you guys what we got. Um, this video is going to be a little bit on the long side, so get your popcorn ready, hit that big thumbs up button, and uh, subscribe to our channel, guys, and let's get into it. Okay, so this room that we're in is typically our living room. That's why there's this big opening here, but we had Christmas, and it's been about a month now, <laughs> and we have not switched the rooms back. Because this is also our kitchen. Um, so we actually have a dining room table in the kitchen. Which technically is on the other side of the house. So if you guys are seeing it and wonder what's going on here. This is our living room. And that's why there's a big hole in the wall. Alright. So I think we should start with the small boxes first. Um, my son Bryce, he is about 12. And he's going to run out and get the box cutter. I got my husband Jeff here. We're going to um, go through some of these. We're going to look them up on our phone. Hopefully we did good. And I don't think we did bad. I know. I, I have no like direct I, expectations. Here's the thing. I'm not going to lie. We agreed not to look. There were some tags on the boxes that I was reading when we were putting them away that had like a Walmart return sticker. And yes, Walmart. a lot. Okay, so these red wraps say that they have a, a whole variety of like returns and things like that. So there is Walmart stuff. There's Amazon stuff. There's stuff that came from FedEx. I mean, Jeff thought he saw some stuff that was might have been like Wish from the Wish app. I think um, this is a Wish item because it's all Chinese or it's all Asian. Not yeah, it's got screen. like it has the symbols on it, which leads us to believe. But, but it's a this Walmart stuff, return, though. But this stuff could be in different boxes. It could have just been returned in something different. So it's really hard to tell. And I'm not sure if this is a error in translation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it says it's a cervical massage pillow. See that? I know it's backwards for you guys at home, but yeah. Let's hope it's not. Not a feminine product. Or use. <laughs> All right. I think we should start with the small stuff and Hi, go from Bryce. there. Are you yeah. going to come in here while we do this? Sure. All right. All right. So we told Bryce he can have, there's one item on this palette. And I don't know if you guys saw when we were first um, doing the video. It's and we were finding right. it. There's one item. I told, when I looked it up, it's like a gaming furniture product. And I told Bryce, or I told Jeff before we bought it. If Bryce helps us carry everything inside, no whining, no complaining, he can have one item in all the stuff that we come across if he sees something. So that was the particular item I think he's going to like, but we don't know until we open it. All right, so this actually, it feels like um, it's like heavy, maybe a sheet or like, um, I don't know, like a pool, like a, 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 I don't know, maybe even like a plastic bed or something. I don't know. So, so the thing I like to look at too is where the items came from. This is a return for film at the department in Brunswick, New Jersey. And it was delivered out to Colorado. So we'll see. Colorado's far from here. I don't want to rip um, the entire Did you get packaging. That knife, Bryce? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Because right, that has a so this is the worst knife ever. Yes. So if it gets stuck in something. It, like, it retracts and you have to go all the way down to get it. So every time you go to use it. It wants to Retract. go back in, and it's like a pain in the ass. And, but the cool thing I like about it is it has this neat box, so if there's clothing or something inside there, what is that? Oh, it looks like a car seat cover, kind of. It, it's like, 
a tarp maybe it's it's five by ten feet yeah so we got a tarp yeah, yeah. it feels like it's, a tarp don't open it all the way though it it looks like it's a tarp yeah, yeah. guys it's like some sort of a tarp it looks it like, like, oh it looks like a car cover thing oh it could be a car cover that'd be smart there's no more i information it looks like a motorcycle i don't know maybe we can try scanning that <sighs> all right we got like a small box it's shaking medium. inside yep this was from someone in florida orlando from walmart returns Ooh, they got them. or something on it. So I wonder if there's another... There's no tag or anything. It's like a it three piece. It looks It is. It's, no, it's still no. in the wrapper, guys. Keep the box. Yeah, we gotta put it back in the box so that way we know what it was. Because maybe we can scan it if this was the original box it came in. Oh. You want to open one? Yeah. Alright, so this is the one he picked. It it kind of looks like, um, like a, a it small box. It looks like box. a video game kind of thing. Someone in Ithaca, New York ordered it and it looks like, right. guys, I'm sorry, the dog's in the background. Um, it does not really have a direction on who it came from. Right. Here, let me start the, let me start it. Now, mind you, while we're doing this, we have a whole pack of cut resistant gloves, yeah. so if somebody gets cut, it's your own fault. <laughs> they packaged it, like, look at how many layers. That's like 15. Yeah, they, it's like one of those mailer bags, and what they did was they just rolled the mailer bag. Our scissors are like really bad right now, guys. They're dull. Yeah, we um, we ended up uh, trying to sharpen them, and they just did not do. Yeah, well. yeah, it's better. Okay. Uh oh, see what's inside. Oh yeah, it was, it was one of those kind of mailer bag kind of stuff. All right, here's the top. Oh, there's. What did you get? Uh, oh my god, that's a doctor's pad! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> Whoa! Official New York State prescription pads? Uh, we're gonna have to find a way to dispose of those because those are 100% illegal to have unless you are the medical professional. Yes! Oh my god! That's kind of. So we're gonna have to call, I guess, I could check at work with the FDA on how to dispose of them. They're a pediatric facility. Okay, well that was an interesting find. I am like literally wow. shocked. Like shocked that those would be- Order quality pads and order. Oh, it says where it came. It's well, I can't tell. We might even it just says return to ship or maybe they just never picked it up. There's like the we'll try right to there. call the doctor's office and see what they need to do to dispose them. Tell them we came across her prescription pads. You could get into a lot of trouble for having those. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Okay. Oh, look at the owner who ordered it. Yeah. We'll, we'll call him. So Jeff's going to do the next one. I always pick the, oh, I got a small one. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one is a Walmart return and it looks like it was from Walmart has Louisiana or is it LA or where is it? Oh, LA. It's I see an L. I don't know. I don't know. Louisiana. Harvey, Louisiana. Oh, it's in a bag. It's in another bag. It's been returned twice. First time <laughs> ever, guys. Let's see what this is. Oh. It looks like some cloth. Oh. Is it a t-shirt? Oh. 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 Zel? Is that Zelda? Zelina. Oh. High quality street fashion. What size? Size 46. This one's small green. All right. Huh, I wonder what they feel like. Well, I wouldn't open them yet, but... Well, let's see what they look like. It's got a it's zipper a, bag. It has to pack. Oh, oh, whoa. What the heck? This is like a dress. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, here's a tag right here. Uh, it says streetwear. Honestly, Is it a jumper or is it a... No, what? No. That's, those are kind of trendy. I feel like this is like the stuff that you're start that like people are making fun of on TikTok right now. Oh, we got two of them. Two of them. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. Right. Bryce is opening one. What do we got? Looks like some sort of lamp. Oh, it's like a little 
Oh, is it one of those like um, galaxy projectors? Maybe I'm not sure. I was thinking like a sound Arm machine block? or something. Oh, Whoa. it's for like nail. Is it a sanitizer is or a nail dryer? It looks like a nail dryer. There's a cord. I honestly don't know, and there's no markings. It says 10, 30, 60, 99. So I'm thinking it's a hand, a nail Price or hand. Okay, so it pulled up as an Amazon find. Um, it looks like UV LED nail lamp for gel nails, which is like the acrylic nails. Um, and it looks like there's one on here for $32. Uh, $39, that's not the right, there's one on here for 21 okay. So I, I'd say, you know, it's about a 20 to $30 product. We could probably list it if it works, maybe for 10 or $15 and see where we go with that. Okay, so I see this one here. It's a Walmart return. It was coming from the person lived in Georgia. Let's see what they got on here. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Watch, it's another one because <laughs> it's a similar size. Ooh. Oh, oh it's toy. It kids. Oh, it's, um, it's like learning the like literacy stuff. fun game. Uh, look it up, Bryce. Safety and environmental. So what they do is they get a card and then they got to spell it. So doesn't look like it's been open, does it? Yeah, it does. It has tape here. Um, the box looks a little damaged, no. but I mean it's. Oh, found it. It's on yeah. Amazon. Okay, so how much? Uh, thirteen ninety nine. So I'll probably get rid of it for like maybe seven to ten bucks. Let's see. I mean, depending. All right. This one has like an accordion look, hmm. <laughs> doesn't that, it? That one got crushed. Yeah. That one got dropped off the truck. All right. I don't know. Does it say where it's from? Walmart. It looks like. Uh, this one is a Walmart return, and it came from Harvey, LA. Oh, that's where the I got the same place the yeah. other one went. I wonder if that's more of them. What is? What was the one that we got? Zena. Zena. The dress. Yeah, the dresses. I mean, it, I it it could be anything. They would probably do another. It's another clothes. clothing item, obviously. That looks like a pool, kind of. Is it, okay. It's one of those again. It is a black one, yeah. Same style? Yeah, it's probably the same company too. Yep. That one looks like you would like use at a barber shop or something because of the back. I don't know, I think it's this like weird, um, almost like a, a, a blouse material All to right, them. this one's from Arizona. Walmart return. That's a cake plate. Oh, is it? No, because it's got the, what is it? The cheese style? This is a charcuterie a cheese board. Tray? <laughs> oh. It's a mess. It is a cake display. All right, so why don't we put that back in the box? Everything's still here. I'm kind of impressed. The and glass it's didn't not, break. It's not broken. Yeah. So that could be resold online. Yeah. Oh. It looks like the, cake, the base is uh, bamboo. The glass and bamboo. That's gonna be hard to get back in there. There we go. <laughs> All right, Bryce found one. He wants to open. It's like a small one. I don't know why I keep picking small. Oh, we're. Your dad's got the knife. If you wait a second. I don't need the knife. A battery on it of some sort. It looks like wow. It probably glows. It's probably for like nighttime fishing or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, like, these are a little too big for the fish that we catch around here. There's a whole box. There's like 
only about five oh, oh, that's seven cool of them. One is cool. Oh, high five, Dad. Now, fishing fishy. lures, if you didn't know, like we've gone to Cabela's and stuff, and I mean, they're like five to ten dollars. Some can get up to a hundred bucks, depending on how many hooks right. and stuff. So the estimate refund total on this is twenty-five bucks. So twenty for all of them? Does yeah. it say by quantity? It says for the box. Oh, oh my wait, God. you found a receipt in there? Well, Ooh, look I think they're one. not name brand though. If they said like Rapella or something like that, there'd be a lot more. But you know what though? We have a pretty. This this tail. We have a couple of people who in the family who are big into fishing down south. Well, so. they travel to fish. Yeah, might be a good way to unload those ones. So this one actually came in a priority box. So my assumption is they probably put it in here and sent it out. Um, this one is a Walmart return. And it came from somebody in Texas. It is a clothing item of some sort. Vonda. All right, let's look at Vonda real quick. Okay, so the the bag says Vonda on it, and it has um, it says China on the label. But when I look at Vonda, I did not find anything. There is a belt, um, and it looks similar to the other outfit. But we'll see. Okay. So it is a long black dress with really cute little wooden um, or yellow buttons. So I'll have to get a better picture. See, it's got like um, almost like a, what do they call the sleeves? Do you remember? There's a name for this particular sleeve, and I can't Puff. think of about parachute. it. Puffy. Parachute sleeves, maybe. No, those are parachute. Pants. I used to, I used to know, guys. I did, honestly. Uh, this would be cute with a pair of like really cute boots and one of those cute little like sun hats. So, uh, cute outfit. So, so my box came from Michigan. It feels like there's a couple different boxes in here, and it. Uh, so you can hear the screws or nails or whatever Something's hardware. broken in here. <laughs> whatever it is, who knows? Maybe it's broken. Maybe it's a hardware kit. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Spray handle. Ooh. Is it for the bathroom? Maybe we could get some new faucets. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a weird light. Solar power fountain power pump. pump. Fountain pump. Oh god. So I guess this would go like in a bird bath? Or no, you could put it in um like a regular a koi pond. Yeah, the like a koi pond. Pool. We could put a fountain in the pool. Oh. Or the hot tub. That is not the I have no idea. Mama Check like to that. see what a solar pump would go for. There's like I don't know if there's two of them or what there's like a second box. Yeah. Alright, Bryce, this one looks like a keyboard. That's a Bryce box. I'm going to let you open it. Let me cut it and then you can open because I know how you are with scissors. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also not good with pocket knives. Right. right. There you go. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's like a, it's a cutting board. Ooh. It's a bread cutting board. I've seen this. My teacher no. is showing up. No, you know what this is? What? This so, is a bathtub um, shelf. Yeah, oh, I can put my, you can put like a keyboard on there. So no, this like says, what? like what's that? It has a towel holder. Okay, so this sets, like if you have one of those freestanding tubs, this sets in there. You could put like um, something in here, your tablet goes on it, um, and it extends for the length of your tub or the width of your tub. I'm not sure, there's like also a little hole, so you probably could put your wine, wine glass, glass in there. Um, and this comes off, and there's a couple more little spots. So that that's real interesting because yeah, I think like you can set it like this, yeah. and then you can prop it up oh, like you your tablet. Your yeah. there. Well, there's like two spots you can put a tablet to. Uh, Walmart return out of Florida. Let's see what we get. This one also looks like a keyboard kind of. Oh. Uh, this looks like it's still in the packaging, guys. Like, it doesn't Silver. look like it's been opened. Oh, there's something in the box, I think, maybe. It might be the return slip. Uh, it looks Plastic. Like... Oh, okay. oh, no, oh there's like a, a light. It's Wait a like a, it's this for is like a, a party. Control. It's a, for like a party thing. This is a remote control for it. Solar oh, power. Oh, it's a solar power. Oh, oh. no, 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 what it is. What? 
It goes out. Well, it's a solar powered light. So but there's no way. post. Right? But that doesn't, I mean. Is the post inside? I think it. it's something. I don't know. It's not telescopic, right? I don't know. That's so weird. But this would be really, really cool. What? So what do we call Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, it actually turns on. It's pretty dead. It still dead, has batteries in it. Or it's pretty dead. Whatever. What is it? A solar... Well, solar powered light. Overhead light. Um. Yeah, but it looks like it's like a $96, maybe a $100 item. And it doesn't look like it's supposed to have a post. It looks like... And you'd attach it to I'm, something. No. But yeah. here's the deal, though. Oh, I might have found it. If we find something that we like, if we wanted to keep it, you could get a PVC pipe and put in there, and then there's an anchor screw here. So, all right, all right, guys. So I'm gonna open this one. It is a Walmart return from Sacramento, California. What I could tell right away is a quick connect for water. I'm assuming hose. Or something for a hose. I'm thinking it might be an ice maker part for a refrigerator or a water line for a refrigerator or something. Imagine if we just got a slushing machine. That'd be cool. I don't think it's a slushing machine. No, I was just saying Pretty because he said ice I'm maker. I'm confident it's not a... No, because he oh. said... Oh! Oh, Jimmy. What is it? <gasps> oh! Oh! There you go, Mom. That is beautiful. Okay, so about, I'd say, six to eight months that ago, we got a new faucet, beautiful. and I wish we could have found something like this that we didn't really oh, have to pay much wow. more for. Now, I, we bought one on Amazon, and I did return it and got another one because this piece right here was, like, um, twisted off, like it was screws in for the, the knob, but that is pretty nice. Oh, there's damage. Oh. Oh, there's a hole in it. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, hold on, though. The problem is, here's the thing. We can still sell this at a discount for well, people who are doing, like, rentals and stuff. It has a hose. Yeah. The, the water doesn't gonna go come through out. there. And that might even be something, because I do work at a welding company. One of the guys I work with might be able to Salvage do, a, it. do a little quick tap on there. I mean, I don't know how much this one was, but I know these can go for like upwards of like a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars. Right. But it is a stationary top, so it'll so, be interesting. So I mean, realistically, if we put it in our house and put it over there, nobody would see that damage. Like if we put it up like this, nobody would see that damage. Yeah, um, it's a Walmart return from Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it looks like a blanket. Is it a Snuggie? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a Dibs blanket. if it's a Snuggie. <laughs> oh, it's an outfit or a top. And it's from that same brand, Zanzea um, collection. And it looks like um, it's like a shawl or like a cape. It's got sleeves. Um, uh, it's a cape, but wouldn't have sleeves, I don't think. No, it's got like... Oh, that's your Do you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. got like those little arm sleeves and there's like a hood. It's probably for like yeah. cosplay or something. You could be Bruno from, uh, what is it? Uh, the new Disney movie. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, I was thinking Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. Uh, it Crump? Obviously <laughs> is not going to work for me. It's a large and my arms don't fit in the sleeves and that could be a reason why someone returned it. Okay. Another Walmart return from somebody out of Oklahoma. All right, this is like a pretty small box. Yeah, Ooh, I wouldn't have This is something Ooh. that you guys might enjoy. This um, is like a trimmer, beard trimmer. Ooh. That looks taking um, in two seconds. It's that... by a brand that we're not familiar with. Uh, wireless. So I say quality wise, it might not be where it needs to be, but Price. these typically cost like twenty five dollars at Google, twenty five dollars at like TJ Maxx and stuff. So I'm gonna say maybe ten bucks. May I see it? I think I'm opening it upside down. Uh, this one was another Walmart return from Nashville. And that looks like another clothing item. We're gonna have a lot of the Zanzia brand if you guys like it. Is that the Zanzia brand stuff? Um, 
Not sure. This one's more yep, of like a blouse. It is. it is. That's that brand. That's... So I'm wondering, because there's so many of these with the return, and because it's, um, you know, it's uh, a brand that not made in the U.S. if the sizing is like off. Okay. I'm gonna open. We have like two more little ones over here. I'm gonna open this one. Oh yes. This is a very very interesting shape guys. I don't know. I think it's a feather duster. I think it's a feather duster too. I, I can't see the find this. I don't know right. why anybody would return a feather duster but they did. Because they got their husky for Christmas and they didn't need it anymore. Well, it's packaging. It's probably, I kind of think it's one of those dog toys that you lift the button, you pick it up, and you throw it. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a truck it. A truck it? It doesn't have the end for a truck it. Right? Oh. Oh. Uh, what's that? Is that what That's a little like. Oh, it is a feather duster. It's it microfiber. So this is probably one of those ones that you can um, move to go over top of like if you had to get to um, a car. No, like your ceiling fan. Oh, I didn't even see this one. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'd say this one is probably one of those ones you could reach for with your ceiling fan because it's got the curve. All right. So I have I another pick one. Something. Okay, you want to open this one? I open the box. You can pull Use it out. All right. Sure. Okay. Hold on real oh, quick. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. So this is the box. It's a nice long box. Walmart return? Yep, you Walmart. You almost just hit me with that. Oh, it is upside down, so let's flip it that way. Careful, oh, Bryce. On, Try to flip it. Are you pulling it this direction? Yeah. So I need to open it and see what it means. Oh. It's just um, like a, just oh, like it's a, a shelf. Oh, it's a shelf. Yeah. Or a ladder. It's a pool ladder. Oh, it's a clothing rack. It's a, yeah, it's a clothing rack. Now, these are typically like, oh, well, I don't know. They normally don't have this or the double, but these are typically like 15, 20 bucks at Walmart. So that's my guess. That's what this, this might be a little more because it's got the extra, but it has really, you know, if you have a Poshmark closet or if you're a boutique seller and maybe you sell you know, on the weekends at a craft show, this this could work for you. Otherwise, um, my suggestion would be in your own closet. You can move it around. Your mom might like that with all the storage stuff that she's looking for. Yeah, you put some coats and stuff on it. Um, we found these. This was like already opened. Well, okay, so in the car, before we got to putting everything in there. There was boxes. I mean, they're like this big, like medium sized boxes, but it felt like so empty, like there was nothing in it. And so they have. just literally threw a piece of clothing that they were returning. That's like the pants um, that company. No, that's a different <laughs> This company. is a different brand. It's called Inserun, Inserun. And it's just like, almost like um, a linen. Yeah, nice summer pair of pants. And they're wide legs. I would have to say the quality is very slim. Okay guys, so we just did the math on all the smalls. MSRP on it's about $560. We, what we could sell them for, probably close to about 200. So we still need to make about $330 on the larger packages. So if you like what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe because in video number two, we're gonna get to the large packages. We'll see you then.